Hello and welcome fellow subscribers and other racing fans. Today we have something I have wanted to do for a while now. Another Trek 101, a series I initially started with Sakito, then went over to Bathurst and after that nothing really came. However, I've been asked about a Spa Francochon a lot and well, there you go, I'm doing a track 101 for Spa Francochon. In the background you can see a fast lap from me during a uh, Spa race with the RSR guys, which was rather catastrophic for me, however, did a nice fast lap during it. So you can already uh, see my racing line there and it also functions as a bit of a proof that I uh, can be quite fast here. I think my fastest lap ever in the past was 214.3 and this one here will be a 215.1 when finished. Of course two factors, one tires and rather much fuel but it was lap 24 in the race so there is more grip on the track as P cars increases track grip per lap driven so don't take the time oh, wow, too man. serious under the given conditions it's just a little demonstration and an introduction for the actual track 101 so what what will I do there I will try to drive a very clean uh, lap with a very perfect uh, line and then I go to a third person perspective I try to explain you as best We're as I can how to achieve the best line through corners. Also I will try to use corner names and straight names as good as possible so you have a good orientation for the track itself. Well. So hope you enjoy All and time. see you on the other side. Okay, let's get into action here. Doing a one lap race. Approaching the first corner in the version of Spa Francochon we have in Project Cars, which is the uh, all known Rouge. So, what I'm doing here is cutting a little bit on the curb of the left hander of the Urush. So if your league doesn't allow that, please don't do it. It's not completely necessary, however it helps with driving uh, through the Orouge. So you are very straight on the entry of the corner. Then you go right quite early. Uh, that's why it's important to be uh, um, very straight at this point. If you have still a uh, left turn to make, it's hard to get the car moving into the right turn of Eau Rouge, especially with a car like the Aston. So now you're already uh, turned in right. You're taking the inside curb very slightly, not too much, it's not very flat and then you're taking the inside curb of Urush going to Camel Straight. Also here be careful if your league doesn't allow that. Well that's right out of the track on the edge and also if you're cutting a little bit more then you will get a time penalty so try to avoid that. So now you're getting to Orouge, uh, to Calistrate, sorry about that. You are in a fifth gear through Orouge or sixth gear depending on the car. Breaking point on the Camel Straight, going into Le Comp is right here. When you see the beginning of the curb, you need to break. So as you can see it's a little bit earlier than the curb, but from my point of view it's exactly where the curb begins. Going into Le Comp, it's important maybe break a little bit earlier, I break maybe a little bit late, so the turn in 
to this first part of the corner section, you need to be as close as possible to the curb on the right. You see, I'm uh, I'm a little bit too fast, and my car gets. A little bit too far into uh, uh, to the left here, so it would be nicer to have a uh, um, line which would go like this. Okay, but then again, hug the curb on the inside left here. Again, be as close as possible, so you can drive very close to the left white line here. See, I'm using the curb on the left to get a better turn in for this right corner of the comp. And here it's again very important to be as close as possible to the inside of the corner, so you can be on the throttle as early as possible. Because there's a small straight coming up. Okay, now maybe I braked a little bit late again here. It doesn't look like it because the speed is quite high, but you need to brake quite early here. Reason for that it's downhill, so there's more energy to be. Uh, um, <laughs> more energy to be uh, destroyed, if you want to say it like that. Okay, so going into, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this corner, Brussels, Brussels. Again, important, stay on the inside the whole corner and go on the throttle quite early. I mean, this is the point, okay, I'm, I'm still off throttle, as you can see <laughs> on the flames, but at this point, I'm on, on full throttle again. The corner is a little bit cambered, so it's possible to go on the throttle quite early. I would recommend not to go too far to the left here, and not too far to the right here. Um, what I did here was wrong in my opinion, because this curb can unsettle your car too much. Uh, I know many uh, GT3 cars uh, won't be unsettled, but the SM Martin is a victim of curbs like that. So try to stay on the left side of the white line here. Oh, well, now it's important again. Apex. You see. Oh, I hit that little bollock there. That's obviously not good because it destroys your aerodynamic. <laughs> it was very close, but it's important to go as far left as you can here and go on full throttle again at this point in the latest at uh, latest point Yeah, maybe earlier because now a straight is coming up and you need all the speed Good going down to Pujol shifting into um, Third gear in the Aston might be something else with other cars, but the Aston needs the third gear here. The fourth gear induces a wrong entry speed because the entry speed is not that high in, into this corner. I mean, it can be, but then you will, will get some understeering mid corner, which is not nice. So if you are in third gear, Stay on the inside and go on full throttle again here. Not too early, else you will end on the right side, which is slippery and you will get too much understeering. Stay on the left and go, don't go too much to the right here, because there's another left turn coming up. It's usually no problem with GT3 cars, because the aerodynamics are kicking in and you have much grip. However, Try to stay to the left. Okay. <clears throat> Approaching Campu, I think it's called. Again, braking with the curb. Well, maybe a little bit earlier, I don't know. I think it's enough to break between the bridge thingy, the adver advertisement bridge of Coca Cola here, and the curb beginning. So I'm going down to a third, m sometimes to second in this car, but it depends. 
on the grip on the track and so on. So yeah, corner is quite straightforward. Maybe I turned in a little bit early. Can be better to have a later apex because the apex is here. So later apex may be better. Go to the right. Uh, I go to the left a bit early maybe. It would be better to stay some meters longer on the right side. Then you get to the left of this Campu corner section and hit the throttle as early as possible again. You can take the curb on the outside here a little bit. However, be careful if you go too far outside on the green there is no curb at all. Good. Stavelo breaking again with the curb. You see they put the curbs at very good positions here at Spa. I think it's second gear in the SM Martin. Hitting the apex. It's n it is quite important to be close to the right but not as important as in other corners. The most important part is to hit the throttle very early and to stay on the throttle. So your line now defines your speed on the whole um, straight approaching planchiment and finally the bus stop. So listen carefully. Throttle now. Full throttle. You can go a little bit off track here, beyond the white line. So you get a better exit out of the corner following. And now you are hugging the inside curb maybe. Maybe I'm a bit far away here, with, well, but the Essen is quite dangerous to hit the curb. But with other cars you can hit the curb slightly and at this point. Remember that this is all full throttle. From this point on, you need to stay on full throttle. Full throttle, full throttle, full throttle, full throttle, full throttle. And at this point, maybe you need to lift a little bit in some cars and if you have uh, low grip conditions. However, I wouldn't recommend. Full throttle, full throttle. You might get a little bit off track here due to understeering. So be careful. A meter besides the track there is already the uh, um, time penalty. Now we're going on the straight, it's not really a straight but it's all full throttle except for the uh, um, slight left hander. So what we're doing here is we are going off throttle a little bit just for maybe two, two tenths of a second. We turn in, get the car turning, and then we hit full throttle again. Um, maybe a little bit far off the curb here. You can also hit the curb slightly. With some cars it's no problem at all. Some cars get unsettled a little bit. So full throttle again. Well, it's just going off throttle a little bit and full throttle again. Okay, Full throttle, full throttle. Try to not go to the outside here. There is a time penalty also waiting for you. Braking not too late, but also not too early, because you have some speed and you will lose time if you brake too early. But yeah, usually I brake between the bridge and the curb, so around here. Yeah, around here. There's the braking zone. You can take a little bit of the outside curb, however, not really necessary. Now it's very important in the bus stop. Turn in, maybe a little bit early the turn in, can be a tiny bit later. Turn in and now keep turned in. Keep, 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 yes. Okay, you need this. You need to be straight or parallel to the white line. Reason, f reason for that is it sets you up for the uh, left part of the bus stop, which comes now. With this line you can turn in and... PAM! 
full throttle again, okay? If you are not as straight or if your line is not as good through this corner, you might have to wait for full throttle quite long. So turn in quite sharp, get set up for the straight full throttle and you can accelerate from the bus stop without a problem. Now last corner of the track approaching La Source. What I do in the Aston because there is no real brake marker here. There is a 150 in the left. However, it doesn't help too much. What I do, I remember the gear. And in the Aston it's right at the point where you would shift from 4th into 5th gear with long gears. So at this point I don't shift into 5th gear but brake. And why is that important? Because La Source is a bit tricky, it's a bit downhill, it's a, it's not the right camber and you need to brake a little bit earlier than you would think. So the turn in is quite late and important part as close to the wall as possible. Oh, there's half a meter room. That was not good, Tony. So you can go in in first gear, of course, at this point, as close to the wall as possible. See, I released the brake already. I'm just rolling around here and get on full throttle again here. So that's that's a very good line through La Source. It helps very much. And it's also important because a, a longer straight is coming up. Okay. Full throttle again and we are through. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little track 101 and learned something. Well, that's the mo most important part, I guess. If you liked it, uh, show me with a thumbs up and see you next time. Bye bye.